All right, guys, hey, we're gonna continue with the same setup that we've had uh, several times in these videos. You might get tired of it, you might not, but uh, regardless, we have to do this this time because we need the table space in order to do this experimentation. So let's get to it. I'm doing something today that I am both excited about and I'm also both confused about. So today we are looking at G Fuel Formula, Energy Formula, but this is the Bill and Ted Excellent Adventure edition. So it's got Rufus down there, it's got Bill and Ted, and you know, it's based off of the cartoon because of how they look, one, and two, it's also based off of the movie, um, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. If you haven't watched that movie, I suggest you pause the video now, go out there, watch the movie, and then come back. Uh, no, it's an excellent movie. I would highly recommend that you watch the original Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Best of all of the Bill and Ted's. You know, so great. But anyway, so this is definitely interesting. They got this big box and it's covered with all of the vortex and the stuff they travel through on the phones. It's supposed to make fun of Doctor Who, I suppose. But, um, but yeah, it's got Rufus down here. It's got the Bill and Ted up here, Alex Winter, Keanu Reeves. So it's got, you know, a lot of good stuff on this. So this is really cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and crack her open. Here we go. Oh, oh, this is awesome. So the first thing I'm seeing is you get some awesome sunglasses. Here we go, here we go. Gentlemen, we're history. <laughs> nice, nice. It's supposed to look like Rufus's glasses. That is awesome. I don't know if you can actually use those as actual sunglasses, so keep that in mind. Maybe you can? I don't know, but they look awesome. Regardless, these are just some awesome sunglasses that I got in there, so that's cool. Um, the next, you get the shaker. Ooh, yeah! Got, oh, look at that. Bill and Ted on the side of it. Isn't that cool? It's got Bill and Ted. It says G Fuel Formula. It's got, like, turquoise and pink, and that kind of matches the colors of the Bill and Ted's uh, logo. And then last but not least, you get the Bill and Ted G Fuel Tub. And so it's got Rufus, it's got the cartoon characters at the top, you know, it's got everything you need. That is quite amazing. That is really cool. I like that. So, first thing we want to do is I, I have to rip off the top of it in order to get to the G Fuel in order to taste that. I don't like doing this part because you're technically ripping off part of the packaging that says Bill and Ted on it. And it's just sad, but you know, you got to do what you have to. So you rip this off and then you got to peel it off. Ooh, that's, that smells good. That smells really good. Um, pineapple? What flavor is this? So this flavor is Mamba Bam. Am I reading that right? Bamba, Mamba, Bamba, Mama. Am I reading that right? You guys be the judge. I can't read that. Um, but yeah, Baha, Bahama, Mama. I don't know how to say that. Anyway, I think it tastes like it smells like some kind of pineapple -y thing. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but definitely smells good. I don't know what I don't know what flavor that is or what smell it is, but it smells good. Ooh, it's got a little. Yeah, it's that's really cool. So let's go ahead and it's got a little G Fuel, little G Fuel, um, uh, already filled with G Fuel stuff that was inside of the uh, tub. Dump a little bit in here. And then I'm going to do like a little more. You can always do proportions based on what you think is recommended. Definitely look at the side of the tub to tell you how much you should be doing depending on what you want to do. Don't go overboard on this. Um, it says 100 milligram, 140 milligrams of caffeine, so be careful. Warning, be careful. You don't want to do too much. You don't want to do too less, and you don't want to do too much. So definitely, you want to do an okay amount. I did like one and a half spoon, uh, spoonfuls for a cup this big. And then I have some water already here to kind of dump inside. Ooh! Look at that! Look at that! It's like a reddish, orangish type of coloration. That looks good. That looks beautiful. Let's put your shaker cup 
little uh, thing in there. Lift that. And then when you seal this up, you only want to shake. Oh my goodness! Actually, I want to take. I want to show the camera that. That looks good. Look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna grant that I'm gonna shake it up a little bit, but look at that. Look at that. It's got the orange. Uh, but yeah, it's got the orangey reddish with the cartoon, and that looks like it matches pretty darn well. And that actually makes it look like the logo because there was a scene where they were in the future, and that just oh, that looks like it matches pretty well. So when you shake, you only want to shake up and down. Tight. Make sure it's decently tight, and then you shake only up and down. No. And after a while of shaking, it looks like it's stirred up on the bottom pretty well. If we get a little bit, we're gonna drink a little bit. Here we go. A couple comments I'm gonna make to kind of liven up this video is I'm wearing a Depeche Mode shirt that has a rose on it because uh, it was the only shirt I could think about that would actually match what we're doing here because every rose has its thorns. Oh, I could have used that one joke while I saw the powder because the powder, the powder is like, you know, orangish. No, it's kind of like a pinkish. I don't know. You be the judge. What do you think color that is? Kind of hard to tell. But yeah, I could have used this joke. All we are is dust in the wind, dude. Dust, wind, dude. Anyway, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's another. Oh yeah. So then, cheers. Let's see how this tastes after shaking it up. Excellent. Oh man. Oh, I got. I got to do the sunglasses for the full experience. Excellent. Anyway, so this tasted pretty darn good. This is actually really good. I don't know what I'm tasting here. It's super, it's super sweet. Um, I'm thinking like kind of a tropical type taste. Maybe some kind of, kind of like a Hawaiian punch kind of deal. That's the vibe I'm getting from this Hawaiian punch. Yeah, think of like you're, a, you're like a party and you go taste the, some of the fruit punch. That's the type of vibe I'm getting from this. Like maybe they had like pineapple I don't know about coconut, but maybe uh, definitely pineapple, I think, is one that's prominent in this. But you're getting a fruit punch vibe, maybe a pineapple vibe. I don't know what other fruits are inside fruit punch, but definitely those are probably in here as well. One more sip, please. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. The, if you shake it up well enough, it, you don't get the powdery stuff as much. There's still a tight a little bit of powdery in there, but I think it's working with the fruit punch because... Normally fruit punch, at least the ones I've gone to for the parties I've been at, it has like, they get like ice cream involved. And so it's giving, or sherbet, they get sherbet involved. So it's kind of giving me that sherbet vibe, which jives well with the idea of fruit punch, at least for me. So for my preference, I actually give this a nice good 8.5 out of 10. I kind of want to give it a nine because it's really good. It's super sweet though. If you don't like super sweet stuff, I don't recommend it. But if you like super sweet stuff, this would be something for you to pick up. If you like the tropical, you like the pineapple, I would say pick this up. I hope I'm naming that fruit right. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. But this is good, I like it. I would give it definitely an 8.5 out of 10. Would recommend, would buy it again. And uh, would, uh, you know, G Fuel is doing a good job with this. I don't know why out of all the things they could have signed on with, Bill and Ted, that just seems wild to me. But Bill and Ted is amazing. I love the movies. You know, like I said, I recommend the movies. I recommend this. The sunglasses are cool. I like them as well. Everything is dark with those sunglasses on. But yeah, so this was a good find. This was a good buy. Oh man, I, I don't regret this decision at all. This was excellent. It was not bogus, dude. Uh, so... I would definitely go out there, get yourself some of this if you can. Uh, I don't know how much longer they'll be selling this, but uh, I, I would get my hands on this if, if I were you. So go out there, get this, uh, see what you think. And uh, the taste is pretty good. Like I said, tropical. Uh, would recommend, would buy again. All the other stuff that goes with that. I'm trying to make sure I'm covering my bases because I don't want to leave, you know, the, I don't want to leave people hanging, you know, on what exactly they can do about this, but it's, it's good. It's good. Kind of makes you want to go back and watch the cartoon, you know? But, uh, yeah, so, uh, this is, this is, this is good.
But yeah, so catch you later, dudes. This is this was great, and I'm gonna sign off here. See you guys later. Go out there and get this if you like Bill and Ted. Just awesome.